It's a girl. Oh, I see. Her. She's about to talk. Hello everyone out here in front of the Asian Elephant Habitat. My name is Dana, I'm one of the trainers, and Kathy's also down at the far right hand side, interacting with some of the elephants down there as well. Um, but more importantly, I want to talk about what we're going to be doing out here with the elephants, and then also introduce you to the members of our herd. So we have a total of four elephants out here on the elephant habitat, starting over on the far right hand side. That is our youngest elephant, Carnaudi, who is 29 years old. Uh, and then right here is Simba. Simba is our oldest elephant at 52. Uh, Rosie would be next in line, the elephant walking away with that hay. And Rosie is 50 years old. And then Karina all the way down there at the far left-hand side of the habitat. Karina is 48. Now what we're going to be out here doing is just loosely structured training interactions with the elephant. So you're going to see us asking for a variety of different behaviors from them. Just having a little bit of fun. Now, Kathy's going to be working with Carnaudi over there on the right-hand side of the habitat, asking for her a variety of different behaviors that she knows. Now, what we're doing out here with them, I said, is loose restructured. We don't really have anything planned for right now, but all of the behaviors that the elephants do know and that you're going to see serve an important purpose, whether that be for them participating in their own health care, getting really great exercise, oh, wow. or a continued oh. learning session. Looks like Kathy's asking Carnaudi to pick something up in the background. We'll see what she goes to get right now. But that is something that Carnati's moving about the habitat, getting some really great exercise, and it's also requiring her to think a little bit and figure out what she needs to go back to go find for, for uh, Kathy and bring back to her. Now you heard Kathy blow that whistle. That was to signify to her that she did a really great job, and that's exactly what she was looking for. So she was looking for her to go retrieve that ball. She's going to take that back over to her over on the right-hand side. Now Simba in front of me, did you guys hear her make that vocalization? Yeah? Now that's a behavior that Simba knows. Now they emit vocalizations on their own, but we have trained the elephants to do a variety of the ones that they emit very often. So that snort behavior that Simba just made is something that I can ask her to do. I'll probably ask her to do that in just a second. She probably thought that's what I was asking her to do when I was talking about Carnaudi. Snort! Good job. Now if you guys notice when Simba made that vocalization, that she went ahead and she filled up the top of her head with air. Now that is the location of their nasal cavity. Um, and she went ahead and she blew that up with air to go ahead and make that sound. Now the elephants will make a variety of other sounds too and you probably think, when you think elephant, you think of that trumpeting sound. Now that's not something that they make too often. That trumpeting is similar to our scream. So when we scream, we're really excited or maybe we're a little frightened by something and that's when the elephants make that sound to communicate with one another. Now the sounds that you're gonna hear very often is that that sort vocalization, squeaks, clicks, uh, and other squawks. Um, and they will, they'll vocalize to communicate with one another very frequently. Now the elephants can also make vocalizations that we can't even hear. We'll actually see the front of their face vibrating so we know that they're communicating with one another, but we actually can't hear those sounds. They can hear uh, transmissions of sound and a frequency much lower than we can and much higher than we can as well. Now it looks like Kathy and Carnaudi are going to continue to have a fun play session, moving that ball around, getting some really great exercise. And I'm going to be out here spending time with these three elephants that are over on the front of the habitat. But if you guys have any questions for myself or Kathy, feel free to flag either one of us down. And on behalf of the training staff, as well as the elephants, we hope you're having a really great day here at Bush Gardens. Hmm. Watch, she's gonna make her do some more stuff.